It's like doing Sudoku for the first time. I don't know what the shit is going on. Yeah, and doing that while fuck while this. driving. Well, thank God I'm not doing that because I'm not good with numbers. I'm happy that you are. You thought I was good with numbers. I'm not sure about that. Well, at least you got your job, but you seem to be doing it quite well so far. But this is the first date, so I'm, I'm giving you really expensive compliments there. Oh, nice. <laughs> it was kind of scary the first turns he went in. I was like, okay, we're going like this. We got five minutes. Yeah, yeah. We got time. Two minutes. Well, that's kind of fun that you guys get to be here. Yeah, no. I like, yeah. You hear me? I think I can hear Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have at another stage. We have a jump on this one. Nice. Is it a straight jump? Uh, I can't tell. Uh, okay. Well, it's 900 meters after the jump. We'll go uh, big speeding right. Basically all the time. Do you have a meter count on the jump? Like uh, a little less than two kilometers. information on this track. Just try to keep in line. Just mark, 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 mark the points, all right? Yeah. Yo, get the speaker box loud. Hitting that stuff till you hear that sound.
How did it go? Ran really well. Um, getting more comfortable in the car, getting more comfortable with the navigation. The um, uh, the third stage was like a lot less of like quick navigation points, so more time to see what's happening, to start the kilometer calendar again, and to warn Lexi for what's coming. So not too crazy. What do we do overall today? We did 27 minutes and 38 seconds for three stages together. Yeah, which brings us to second place. Shit. We are seven seconds behind. Number one. Yeah, number who's number one? one? Big kid on the Polaris. Yeah. We're doing this on similar time. The guys have been doing this for like 50 or 100 times. Yeah. And that was nice. my first run. Good driving. Our first run up there. Good driving. And the wheels weren't even straight. No. We're fixing that. Yeah. We're going to modify it. Nice. We can go faster tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to look at some of the control arms on the back. The back wheels are a little bit like inwards on the bottom. So we actually are less stable in the turns. So the boys are tonight going to um, probably replace one of the control arms and it's gonna give straighter wheels. We did a couple of mistakes, <laughs> especially on route two, where we almost flipped oh, the car. One. Yeah, I should have known. Yeah, we lost about five seconds, yeah. at least there. Yeah. I didn't know there was a drop. No, 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 that was not it. But we knew that it was a yeah, short yeah. turn. Yeah, it was only my mistake because I break started drifting, started mm. getting on the gas, and then it just caught a rut, so it just moved. Yeah. Went all the way sideways, and I just drove it out, and it then the just rock. ended on a rock. Boing! It yeah. stopped us from getting off that cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy, sometimes he's just like, he's like, look at the scenery, you know, don't forget to look out of the window. Watch the landscape. Good one. We have arrived. Quarter to three, we're waking up around six. Three hours. So the car is ready. Um, I'm going to bed. All right. Good night, Lexi. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. How are we feeling today? Tired. Oh, ready to run? What, just about three hours? Sleep? Yeah. Three hours sleep? Yeah. Ish? Yeah. yeah. We end up getting the third best overall time yesterday, so we start number three today. So, um, well, we'll do something right, for sure. The water is looking pretty good as well today. Um, blue skies, I don't think it's going to be uh, raining. It might be a little bit fresh this morning. But uh, everybody's rolling in at the moment. Uh, we're gonna be starting third. So we start at 7.32. This time we started hearing a lot of rattling noise and it was gradually getting worse and worse. It was pretty obvious that it was the belly pan. The belly pan was starting to fall off. And as you can hear, it sounds horrible. And we were just waiting for it to fall off. We couldn't do anything. We, we couldn't stop for it. We just had to go. And by this moment, it was just gone. So we had to drive a little bit more careful. And 
then Lexi told me to uh, text the boys to ask them to get the original plastic ballet pan from the city, which was quite a challenge to do while driving. cautious now since the belly pan is gone we lost the metal protector for the engine and the drive chain yeah at the the first quarter of last stage so we had to really just let off because i didn't want to break the engine because it's now it's unprotected so if, if we hit a big rock on our center which we always do in this kind of rally there's no underpan so that rock might just go directly to the engine and break it apart so we put into echo mode <laughs> and just kind of had to take it really slow that that part it was so damn rough we probably lost about a five or ten minutes on that stretch yeah 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 we knew the pan was coming loose we heard it rattling and we're like shit it's yeah. gonna go we heard it dangling behind us like fuck it's going away do you want to stop and check we have to, yeah? Yeah. You want to take a quick look? 